Hello, I'm Billy the Crayon, and this video is a guide to hunting mule deer in the game The Hunter by Expansive Worlds. Before you get started, make sure to go to the competitions page on the Hunter.com website and look at the competitions for any animal you are planning to hunt or come across. Because you never know, you might just come across a mule deer that could win you some currency to buy yourself some new gear at Doc's Outfitters. Also, if you have it available to you, I highly recommend using the Boone and Crockett Fair Chase gear. These items make it harder for deer and elk to see, hear, and smell you, which makes it perfect for hunting mule deer. Besides your weapon, scope, and ammunition, there are a few other items that you can take with you that can help you when hunting mule deer. You can use either the deer grunt collar or the deer bleat collar to lure any deer in the vicinity to your location. Both collars work the same and will call both male and female deer. You can also use the mule deer urine spray which will lure any mule deer to the sprayed location. To control your scent, you can use both the scent eliminator and the wind indicator. If you don't have wind indicator, you can use falling leaves or blowing foliage to determine the direction the wind will be blowing your scent. For large equipment, you can take either the tripod stand or the ground blind. Now, the tree stand works as well, but there are a lot of really open areas on Loggers Point where there are no trees. If you plan on taking a happy camper tent with you, you can take that, set it up, and then you can use the tent to equip your tripod stand or your ground blind. One underrated item is the rangefinder. This is mostly used when using short range weapons like bows, but can be used anytime to place a dot on the map where you left click using the rangefinder. And of course the binoculars are great to use every now and then because you never know when you might use them and find prey off in the distance that you otherwise normally wouldn't see. You will rarely spot a deer before you start tracking them. When tracking a deer, after you enter three tracks in your hunter's mate or you click on deer droppings, you will see either a solid circle or a broken or dotted circle. The broken circle means that enough time has passed that the animal is most likely outside of that circle. But if the circle is solid, that means unless the animal was spooked, it should still be inside that circle, which means it's best that you start crawling and possibly going prone as you are getting very close to the animal. Sometimes you will hear a deer call out. This is the sound of a female or a doe. And this is the sound of a male or a buck. Hearing their calls makes it much easier to track down than following their tracks or droppings because it gives an exact location of where the animal is at that time. Once you hear the call, you left click on your hunter's mate to activate the call. Once activated, a circular icon will appear pulsating on your hunter's mate. That is to indicate where the call has come from. This will go away entirely after a few seconds. You need to right click to bring up the map and then click on the map to place a red dot on the spot where you heard the call. This way, when the icon goes away, you still have a spot where you can go to that you may find your prey or at least can pick up the trail from there. Once you get to your target, it's about getting him into or luring him into a vulnerable position and taking a clean shot. Be patient, don't rush the shot, and even with this low caliber 243 rifle, you can be just as effective as with the most powerful weapon in the game. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. And until next time, good hunting.